Today we're going to make an AT tiny programmer out of an Arduino board. To do this, we're going to make a shield that's going to sit on top of the Arduino board. In that, we'll place our AT tiny that needs to be programmed. If you know how to make a circuit board, click here. If you don't, then keep watching. So let's start by making the shield. Take a blank PCB board, a LED, a resistor, a holder for the AT tiny, so you can switch them out. A 10 microfarad capacitor couple of header pins and an Arduino board. So start by plugging the header pins into the Arduino board, plug them into the reset pin, the 5 volt pin, the ground pin and pin number 13, 12, 11 and 10. Now cut your PCB so it's as small as possible and can accommodate all the header pins that you've placed in the board. Fit them into the PCB and solder them so they stay put. Since there's no copper on this side of the PCB, make rather large solder dots so it stays. After this, insert a couple of wires into the adjacent holes so gives it extra stability and plus you need these wires to connect it to the AT tiny. Now plug in the AT tiny header, the holder and solder that down too. Connect the wires according to the schematic I showed you at the beginning of the video. Now connect a 10 microfarad capacitor between reset and ground on the Arduino board. This will prevent the Arduino board from resetting when it tries to send the program to the AT tiny. Connect an LED between pin number 3 on the AT tiny and ground. Make sure to use a 1 kilo ohm resistor in series or you could blow out the LED. Solder these new connections in place. Finally connect the reset pin to pin number 10 and you're done with your program. Place this into the Arduino and you're ready to program an AT tiny. Almost. Now place your AT tiny into your programmer. Now for the software bit. Go to this link. Download the latest Arduino for Tiny from Google, unzip it and place it in this directory, Documents, Arduino, Hardware and Tiny. First plug in your Arduino and you need to tell the Arduino that it's going to be uploading sketches. So go to Examples and Arduino as ISP. This is the program that the Arduino uses to transfer the sketches to the Tiny. So select your board as you know, select your port whichever it is and select your programmer as AVR ISP MK2. Now remember to pull the shield out before you upload your sketch. So hit upload and now your Arduino is going to be converted into an in-system programmer. That flashes successfully, the first part is done. Next we need to write code for the tiny. So let's open the simplest code we have the blink sketch. Now on the Arduino, pin number 13 is connected to the onboard LED, but on ours we've used pin number 4, so let's change 13 to 4. Once this is done, before we can upload the program, one time we need to burn something called a bootloader. The bootloader will set the clock values and 
other parameters which allow it to run normally. So select your board as an 80 tiny 8 megahertz and your programmer should be selected as Arduino as ISP. Remember that. Then click on burn bootloader and you should get your 80 tiny ready for programming. You need to do this for each 80 tiny you have, but just once. Now upload your sketch and it should start blinking. There you go. You have a 80 tiny 85 program. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.